you can use date, year, month, day functions as criteria in queries. On the create tab in the queries group, click on query design, add the table orders, add the fields order ID, order date and ship date. Date function returns the current date. Enter the date function in the criteria row of order date field. The query returns orders placed today, 4-5-2022. To return orders placed yesterday, 4-4-2022, subtract 1 from current date, date function minus 1. There are no orders to display. To return orders which are to be shipped tomorrow, add 1 to current date in the criteria row of ship date field. You can see the orders to be shipped with the tomorrow's date. The year, month, day functions are used to return an integer that represents their respective parts of a date. All these functions require a valid date as an argument. For example, 12-31-2021. The year function returns the year from a date, which is 2021. The month function returns the month, a number from 1 to 12. Day function returns the day of the month, a number from 1 to 31. For example, to return orders placed on January 1st, 2022, use this expression. The query returns orders where year equal to 2022, month equal to 1, and day equal to 1 in the order date. To return orders placed in the last 7 days, use this expression. Get the current date using date function. The query returns orders placed between 3.30.2022 to 4.5.2022. To return orders placed in the current year, use the year function to compare the year of order date and current date. Use this expression on the query. You can see the orders placed in the current year. To return orders placed in the previous year, subtract 1 from current year. You can see the orders from previous year. To return orders placed in the current month, use this expression. Compare the year and month from the order date with year and month of current date. Only if both are true, that order is returned. You can see the orders placed in current month. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.